Welcome back, Fast Cats. In today's short podcast and video, I'm describing how to combine Sweet Spot and Zone 2 training to get the best of both worlds. In my last episode, we talked about how Sweet Spot training drives more physiological adaptations than Zone 2 alone, but, and that's a big but, training in Sweet Spot every single day is wrong. Uh, instead, the real magic happens when you blend these two intensities together in a smart training plan. You get all the mitochondrial gains from Sweet Spot and all the fat oxidation from Zone 2. So in this video, what I'm gonna go over is what a training week looks like, how you get the adaptations of Sweet Spot and the Zone 2, as well as how you can use Sweet Spot and Zone 2 in the same ride. Yes, it's very true. And of course, the science behind it. All right, so a weekly structure, what does that look like? It looks like in the working man and woman's training plan design, Monday's Friday's off, Tuesday's sweet spot, Saturday's sweet spot. And then what does the zone two look like? Thursdays and Sundays. So in order of progression, Monday off, Tuesday sweet spot, Wednesday tempo or group ride, Thursday zone two, Friday off, Saturday big sweet spot ride, Sunday a little bit less long zone two ride. So two sweet spot days, two zone two days works really well. And that's an example of the fatigue dependent training plan design model previously described. We've already talked about how doing sweet spot every day is wrong, but what you get when you combine the two together is you get all the mitochondrial adaptations from sweet spot training. You get increase in training load, you get increase in FTP, the mitochondrial biogenesis, succinic dehydrogenase, and it stimulates mus mit mitochondrial growth, a la, that's what, when you hear people say mitochondrial density. You're stimulating growth, more mitochondria per muscle cell, more power, more energy. Now you're gonna get that on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but when you combine zone two, not only are you balancing out your training because you can't do a sweet spot every day, but that improves your fat metabolism. That's your aerobic base, your ability to burn fat and preference of glycogen, which enables you to save it for when the hammer goes down in a race. And it also contributes more to the energy production when you're metabolically efficient. But did you know you can do both sweet spot and zone two in the same ride? Yes. It's very true. You can do it by all natural or you can just manipulate the intensities. So way number one is manipulating the intensity. So you can int in intentionally, so you can intentionally structure a rod to be like zone two first, which is how all sweet spot interval workouts occur anyway, <clears throat> because we have you warm up in zone two. But if you have a three hour ride, you can ride the first two hours in zone two. And then say you got a two by 20 sweet spot, then you can do your two by 20 sweet spot in the third hour, and then you're gonna cool down in zone two. And so you are getting in the, facts oxi the fat oxidative adaptations from zone two, and then you get in the sweet spot adaptations from two by 20, 40 minutes of time in the sweet spot zone. Now, there is another way, and this is what I call the all natural way, and it's when you do a sweet spot OTS ride or a sweet spot group ride or even a gravel simulation. And that's when you have an OTS target of 200, 225, or 300, and you set out on the ride to try to achieve as much time in the sweet spot zone as you can. But then your legs get tired and you can't sweet spot anymore, but you keep going. Then you just default down into zone two. Now this is a really good ride for durability, for fatigue resistance. And it also just happens to be, you get all the goodness of the mitochondrial enzymes and biogenesis density from the sweet spot training, but then when you default down into zone two, now you're getting all the fat oxidative adaptations from zone two in the same ride. Now this is also what happens in a gravel race or a lot of the fondos. So that's why I call it the all natural way. Now, why do Thursdays and Sundays work for, for zone two? Just remember, now, in the fatigue-dependent training plan design, you're getting more tired as the training goes along. So by the time you get to Thursday, you've already trained Tuesday 
and Wednesday, now your legs might be a little bit fatigued. And that actually is a physiological good thing, which we're going to talk about. And the same thing for Sunday. When you do a big sweet spot ride on Saturday, you wake up, you feel a little bit tired. You can't really do zone, sweet spot or threshold or a group ride or a race, but you can ride in zone two. And what scientific studies have shown is that lower glycogen levels that happen on Thursdays and Sundays, they actually amplify the fat oxidative oxidation enzyme upregulation. Say that at your next cocktail party. But the idea is glycogen depletion and training under load, it increases metabolic stress. And that is good for a stronger physiological stimulus and then thus a greater fat adaptation from a greater stimulus. And one such study that showed this is from two heavyweight researchers, professors John Hawley and James Morton, both leading experts in exercise metabolism and nutrition with approximately 460 peer-reviewed publications. Professor James Morton is a University of Liverpool and Team Sky fame. He's done a lot of research in the area of intentional carbohydrate manipulation to stimulate greater physiological adaptations, namely fat oxidation and mitochondrial biogenesis. Now, this is a rabbit hole of a topic that deserves its own podcast, but real quick. In 2014, they authored the study, Rethinking the Role of Fat Oxidation Substrate Utilization During Exercise and Metabolic Adaptations in Trained Skeletal Muscles. But they provided a detailed model, fuel for the work required, explaining how you can strategically manipulate the carbohydrates in your training to enhance mitochondrial biogenesis and fat metabolism. And it's like training with low glycogen. And if you remember James Morton, Team Sky, this is around when Chris Froome was winning the Tour de France and say what you're going to say about that. But I think on that rest day when he published that picture of him eating like a poached egg and some spinach. Yeah, now what they were trying to do there. But what this looks like in practice for the real world amateur athlete is you go out and you do a big sweet spot ride on a Saturday. You burn and you deplete all of your glycogen stores. And then in less than 24 hours, you're going to get up, you're going to do your Sunday zone two ride before you've replenished all your glycogen. Now, what I believe is happening here is that you're able to replenish, you're not able to replenish all that glycogen and voila, you're adapting this fueling strategy that Morton and Holly are talking about, and you're max, maximizing your fat oxidation by way of increased endurance genetic si- signaling. So pretty, pretty groundbreaking type of nutritional strategies for increased oxidation. We'll have to do another podcast on this, but if that feels like a lot to absorb, don't worry. We got you with a complete training solution that tells you exactly what to do, what not to do, balancing the right amount of sweet spot and the right amount of zone two, rest days, rest weeks, plus nutritional advice and including weight loss meal plans. And Coach Cat will even tell you if you're recovered or not from your wearable data. We sync with Whoop, Aura, Fitbit, Apple Watch, Garmin smartwatches, and we analyze your sleep and your HRV, and we give you an analysis every morning to help you learn how to recover better. We'll also balance that out with the training you've done in the week and day before, and we'll give you a recovery score. And we'll let you know if you're recovered or if you're not recovered, like in the red. And even better, we'll give you the opportunity to change your workout for that day. Maybe make it shorter, maybe make it easier. When you're not recovered, you just use the Coach Cat AI chat to get that easier workout. And this also applies to your life when your schedule gets too busy and you can't do your workout for that day. But that's it, folks. This is the new shorter, faster, more frequent podcast format. But everything that we talk about is embodied in the training methodology that the Coach Cat app gives you. You can build a custom training plan for free for one month. No credit card is required. Everyone that's listening or watching this, we'd love for you to go start a free trial. We do include a free complimentary coaching on boarding call with the Fast Cat coaches. Many of you have heard on this podcast. And yeah, you can schedule a day and a time that works for you. you You can get on a Google Meet. You can share your screen. We'll walk you through the entire Coach Cat training platform. We'll verify that you have the proper training plan built for your goals that you are training for. And we'll show you all the tips and tricks of using the platform to the 
to get you where you want to be to help you achieve your goals. We even show you how to prompt the AI to get what you want on a daily basis. The training is customized for your life, your fitness, your recovery. There's no guesswork. There's no junk miles. Just smart, proven training designed by yours truly and including the Fast Cat Coaches based on our 20 years of experience. So if you're ready to level up, go to fastcatcoaching.com, start a free trial, and let's go. Let's get busy. Let's make you faster. Like I said, we'll give you that complimentary coaching onboarding call. You can have a new training plan in 30 minutes, maybe less if you're really quick. Listeners that are already subscribed, thank you so much for listening. We value your long-term loyalty. You can support us even more by sharing this podcast with a friend or a teammate Maybe that needs some more training guidance in their life. Maybe they're not riding enough. Maybe they're riding too much. Maybe they're doing too many Zwift races. Maybe too much zone two, not enough sweet spot or vice versa. But yeah, we believe that if you can follow a training plan, you can ride faster. So if you want to leave us a review in iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you're listening to this podcast or watching, that'll really help us grow the community and reach more listeners. But that's all we got for you today. We'll be back real soon. So good luck with your training and you know what to do. Work hard, ride fast, have fun. And as always, FTFP.